What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and welcome back to NR2003, NASCAR Racing 2003 season, for what has to be the first time in at least a couple years here on the channel. But we are back here in what is damn near a 20-year-old game at this point, because it is one of the few places I could think of where we can race the next-gen Gen 7 cars, like William Byron's winning car from last weekend at the Atlanta Super Speedway, I guess we should call it now. So we're going to try to recreate some of the excitement here with a full field of drivers, mostly accurate paints, schemes and i just think this will be a fun little switch up from the norm of what we do around here with wreckfest and beam just throwing something a little bit different out there for you guys let me know what you think about it in the comments down below i even want to drop a couple shout outs here before we really get started one shout out to fcrd for even making this mod in the first place and two my buddy the cody h gaming here on youtube he helped me get back up to speed on nr because like i said i have been out of the game for some time and he helped me just get my feet wet again and realize what the hell I was doing. So with that, the green flag is out here in Atlanta. The AI are off and underway. We're going to be playing a little game of blitz the field here, starting at the back and trying to make our way to the front. There we cross the line here to officially begin attempt number one, I suppose, here, which I guess I'm just going to attack this kind of like a rec fest session. I don't really know how else to do it. I'm just going to go for the dub and let whatever destruction decides to lay itself upon us do what it must. NR is not nearly as bloodthirsty as Wreckfest is, but I'm I'm not putting anything past it still, especially when I'm as rusty as I am. And that being said, I'm having a nice little run through the back marker. Part of the pack as I just about run through the back of the 51 of Cody Ware. We're gonna run through the middle here, three wide, and make a sick little pass. Just gonna hold it up here at the top and get that mega run off the like Larson line up here. Look, nobody even stands a chance. I'm gonna bring it down to the bottom for the mega run. Get the hell out of the way. You have never seen anything like this before. This is this is a master class right here. These mid-packers have nothing for me, probably because I'm in the race winning car for crying out loud, but we're going to ignore that little fact. Stenhouse knew better than to get in my way as I'm about wreck Chastain. Oh, my God. We almost painted the front stretch with the melon man right there. That was not good. Oh, my damn. It gets tight on corner exit, and that's going to be me taking myself and Suarez and Elmer out his final season, too. I should be ashamed. We're just going to roll it back into traffic. Now I should really be ashamed. Just taking out Gregson, an innocent bystander, eating it again here in Atlanta. So as we watch the replay here of me wrecking out of the race, we're going to do it with the free cam mod. This thing is pretty sweet. It's my first time ever really messing with it. It's going to take me a little bit to probably get used to it, but I can get all kinds of crazy coverage of the wrecks and racing that we have from now on. So that's pretty neat if you ask me. I'll push Ty. Oh my God, I almost pushed him down into pit road and through the grass and he saved it all. I'm not gonna save it. I send it into turn one and somehow, miraculously, we didn't just send it into Stenhouse. This is all kinds of a line violation out against Suarez. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna save myself. And there goes Cole Custer up and over. There it is, the first flip of the day. Oh my, I saved Suarez, but at what cost? I killed Custer. We have to take a look at this one again. Of course, by sparing Suarez, we just annihilate Cole Custer, who takes Kevin Arvik straight to the door, and that flips him up and over, and I saw all of it in the rear view. As it happened now from the static corner cam, you will see Cole Custer getting got and carried down into the corner itself, and Abby Arv cannot be feeling too good about that either. Just breathe on it. Oh, Bubba, what are you doing with a bona fide brake test right there? That was just not very nice at all. I would consider that rude, in fact. Oh, someone's wrecking behind me. Someone just dumped Kurt Busch behind me. What is going on here? I am in the danger zone. I got to do something here. I got to shoot the gap and go up through the middle here on Chastain and Bubba. Two cars I've had an unhealthy amount of contact with already here today. We got slow cars on the inside, probably from whoever wrecked Kurt Busch. Holy tightness, I almost did it to Cole Custer again. He's got to be saying, what the hell did I do to this guy? I got that push, trying to give the push, and I just gave him a push. Thanks to Eric Jones sandwiching me there. I got to get the hell out of here. Please let me by. Thank you. Here, yeah, I saw Brad Keselowski do this at Chicago Land one time. We're just going to stick it up through the middle and see what happens. It worked a lot better for him when he tried it. Right, let's see. I'll try it again down here. Come on. Come on. This is no Chicago land. Oh, and I'm no Brad Keselowski. I just almost took out Joey Logano right there. And I'm putting... Well, I, I just, like, intimidated Truex into the wall up there. I'm not even sure I'm going to claim responsibility for that. And this is this has gone on for long enough. I'm just going to send it up Logano where he never thought he'd see it. Wow, that needs to be rephrased. 
when he's gonna wind up the meat and the Hendrick sandwich here. Chase Elliott took him three wide on the bottom. And it's not gonna work out for either one of them. I'll be seeing you later. Sailing it on the outside of the candy man here. Come on. Ah, he's gonna take it back from me. This is no problem. I'll just set him up. I'll just set him up. Oh no! My race! No, it's Kyle, you're a NASCAR champion. You can't be brake checking people out here. I cannot believe this. I'm not even lifting. I don't give a damn. Run me in the wall. See if I care. I'll wreck it right across the line. And I'll take another Joe Gibbs car with me if I have to. See what you've caused, Kyle. And there comes Chastain with one more hit before this thing is all said and done. He just had to get one more in there. Damn it, I can't believe we didn't win that. That was feeling good, too. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Tonight on Unsolved Mysteries, we're going to find out what in the blue hell happened to Kurt Busch. And was it Ricky Stenhouse? Yes, it was. And it takes out Briscoe and up and over goes Kurt Busch into a barrel roll. Oh my, and Briscoe gets nailed up there on the high side. Let's see if our old friend the Static Cam can show us anything else in the back half of this wreck as Kurt Busch just goes for a barrel roll and a half there. A wild ride for him and Briscoe up on a couple of different wheels there. Cross some over corner eggs or clip them. That works too. And we're going for the wall and I'm going over. I'm roof riding it. Oh, we're getting launched back over on our wheels. Did we just land and grab a gear? We got to go bump a move. No, we just got run over again and over goes a 77 up on the safer barrier. Oh my good Lord, what a wreck. That was savagery. We're going to keep it going here with a hit on my boy Busher. Oh no. Well, we got to look at that one again because as far as accidents go, that one gets like a 10 on the viciousness scale. That was just brutal. And that just simply started with me getting a little too close. My man Bubba's bumper again here and up and over. He gets hit by Stenhouse. That knocks him up. He does a couple of little twists and turns in the air. And as I try to avoid side swiping him, I line myself up for the 77. And we go for a ride down into turn one. Pretty much exactly how you're supposed to do it. Man, I should write a book on technique and the 77 can do it even better than I can. Shout out to the 7 and the 77 having the same scheme. Three wide, throwing me up to the top and here we go. That didn't take very long. Let's just go ahead and wad them all up. All the back markers. Let's go ahead and make life hard for everybody that's just struggling to survive. And since this one's shot in the ass, we might as well channel our inner wreckfest mindset here and just run it backwards into the field, up and around. That is going to be a big one right there. <laughs> it is certainly seeming to add up to one, at least in the rear view. We're going to have to go back in the replay and reevaluate that one. Well, here we go. And upon further inspection, it all makes sense here. Brad Keselowski was leading the race. We knew his car was not legal. He's got jet fuel in the tank. NASCAR is going to find him $100 billion in points. We had to come and deliver some street justice. We came, we saw, we kicked some ass, and we created one hell of a big one in a pileup. Oh, it's shot swears of the track again. Oh, no, no, not again. Well, I might as well just end it all right here. Oh, and I missled Cindric. The Daytona 500 champion taking out for absolutely no good reason. And he's flipping down the track. Oh, my God. He didn't charge him with a crime for that one. He just went on a hell of a ride. He's landed on the wheels. There's no good reason or explanation for this one, really, other than just lack of talent and uh, maybe lack of will to live as I just take out Cindric, remove his ability to live. Let's see here as he goes through the spin cycle and then gets tipped by both the front row racing cars in just the right way to send him on the barrel roll of a lifetime down in the banking. Oh, Dylan, not again. I got to quit doing that. I... There we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> Into the spin cycle we go this time. Well, that'll do it, but that won't do. Well, we got to make it amount to something here. There we go. Oh, my. I just, oh, I just annihilated myself and my boy Brad Keselowski. Oh, no. I'm going to line myself up for another one here. There it is right in the door. Oh, that is a tragedy. The fans really had a front row seat for this one, and I got eye level with a couple of them up there on top of the safer barrier, and my boy Brad, along with everybody, Kyle Busch goes for a spin. Everybody, oh, they're still piling into the chest, and then I come down here and line myself up for another beautiful hit. Big run. Big, oh, Truex in the wall, just stuffed him. Like a turkey on Thanksgiving. That was... That was diabolical right there, and I, I somewhat apologize, although I really don't feel that bad. Oh, I'm gonna do it again! Larson died then, there you go. Oh, he didn't put it in the wall, but he should've. Last chance here, just gotta not even lift. 
right through the, I don't know how that just worked, but it did. I'm not gonna ask questions. White flag is in the air. We're up to third here. With Brad Keselowski in the lead. I'm pushing the wrong car here because I'm getting brake checked. We're gonna have a problem here, Dennis. I'm not lifting again. I don't give a damn. We're going right into the wall. Damn you, Denny really did it to me. We're, gonna, we're really gonna lose some spots here on the way to the line. Oh, uh, damn you, Dennis. I mean, what, do you, what can you even describe that as? He cucked me. We were so close to the win, and we got third. Here, come on, Cedric. Let's go. I'm pushing in the corner. I'm doing everything you're supposed to do. And once again, following the handbook of technique to a T, right down pit road. We may be picking up a penalty for that entry right there. So what the hell? We'll just take a little mini track here. Sorry, Brad. It's nothing personal, but as we just get annihilated. Sent his soul to oblivion with that one, along with the rest of the field and ourselves. I'm going to declare this our last backwards ride of the day because that one, that one might require a couple of tarps. That was a nasty, nasty big one right there. Everyone got in it. Oh, oh Denny, there he goes. Through the infield, he would have gotten 15 feet of air if that was real life, but he's coming right back up on the trap. How? What? Maybe I'll try my move again here on the middle of two bitter rivals. And my boy, who I'm gonna just door out of the way for that spot. It actually worked. Holy crap, that actually worked and it was like semi-accurate down the back stretch. And we got a run on Bell. Oh, I gotta put the fight to Bell now. I got no choice. Oh, we're laying it in him. We're laying it right into him. And he's gonna drive away from that like nothing even happened. I beg your pardon. I will get the run on you. I'll cross you. Oh, I'm going to crush you over. All right, we're going to cross you up and put you in a wreck back there. And I think I might have got Brad with that one. No, that is rather unfortunate. And I lost two spots, but I think I can get it back from the candy man here with a couple of laps to go. Come on, we'll send it in low and deep on him. Hug on that line. Just keep the throttle. Pushed all the way, door him up the track. That's gonna be for the lead. Let me lead this lap. Come on, we're getting this dub right here. White flag lap is underway. We can do it. Cowboys just got nothing for me. Close, but no cigar. I'm in the wall again, as is tradition. Who gives a damn? We'll put all the scratches we want on this thing now. That is gonna be a victory. Give me that dub. Yeah, we won. My crew chief loves it. This little goofy ass. He's been watching me wad him up all day. This is probably the best one he's seen. Yeah, that's a dub. Well, as we got through the middle of Brad and Kyle Busch, we then just put it right in the door and on the wheels of Christopher Bell. And the Christopher Bell crossover doesn't quite go to plan. And it looks like he does indeed collect Brad Keselowski. Brad, I am sorry. You did not deserve this today. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't even see this. Oh, my God. Eric Jones, too. My Michiganders. No. Oh, no. Oh, my Lord. That's just horrible. Here, we'll take a look at a little more free cam action here before we wrap things up as Brad Keselowski's about to get wrapped up in the wreck of a lifetime. Just pummeled by Eric Jones, Reddick. Jones goes up and over off of the 42, his own teammate, Ty Dillon, was the one who did the work. And then the double barrel rolling, bashing off each other's undersides right there. That is something you hate to see. Well, how about for something you love to see? Some burnouts from a car that's Sponsored by a university that's, you know, look up their Wikipedia page sometime if you want something interesting to do. Hey, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one as we burn it down here. Let me know in the comments. Seriously, let me know what you guys thought of this if you want some more. Obviously, Coda is literally today. The next NASCAR race is already upon us, so we have got some potential options for a future installment. If you want us to try out Coda, we could absolutely do that. Wreckfest will be back soon. Beam will be back soon. We'll have all kinds of great stuff coming towards you here. So make sure you hit that like button. Helps me out. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future because we'll be coming to you strong here pretty soon as William Byron does one last burnout away from us. That'll be all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!